Vaccines typically require years of research and testing before reaching the clinic, but in 2020, scientists embarked on a race to produce safe and effective COVID vaccines in record time. Researchers are currently testing 66 vaccines in clinical trials on humans, and 20 have reached the final stages of testing. Out of all the vaccines, 38 of which were on phase 1, where scientists give the vaccine to a small number of people to test safety and dosage, as well as to confirm that it stimulates the immune system. Another 24 vaccines were on phase 2, where scientists give the vaccine to hundreds of people split into groups, such as children and the elderly, to see if the vaccine acts differently in them. These trials further test the vaccine's safety. And finally, a total of 20 vaccines were unto phase 3, wherein scientists give the vaccine to thousands of people and wait to see how many become infected, compared with volunteers who received a placebo. These trials can determine if the vaccine protects against the COVID-19, measuring what's known as the efficacy rate. Phase 3 trials are also large enough to reveal evidence of relatively rare side effects. In addition to clinical trial phases, as of 2021, eight were on early OR limited use, two that were approved for full use, and three vaccines that were abandoned after trials. In this video, we are going to talk about the nine leading vaccines that have reached trials in humans and on how they work. Let's dive right in. The first two in this list uses a messenger RNA vaccines or mRNA which are vaccines that deliver one or more of the COVID's own genes into our cells to provoke an immune response. These two vaccines are Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine and Moderna vaccine. The German company BioNTech partnered with Pfizer to develop and test a coronavirus vaccine known as Tozinamarin or the brand name Comirnaty. A clinical trial demonstrated that the vaccine has an efficacy rate of 95% in preventing COVID-19. Moreover, it was the first time anyone had found such evidence. The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine requires two doses, in three weeks apart. In December 14, vaccination begins in the United States. By December 21, the European Union then authorizes the vaccine. Pfizer expects to produce up to 50 million doses by the end of the year, and up to 1.3 billion doses in 2021. However, storing it is the biggest problem, wherein freezer storage must be only at minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 70 degrees Celsius. Moderna, a Massachusetts-based vaccine developer, partnered with the National Institutes of Health to develop and test a coronavirus vaccine known as mRNA-1273. A clinical trial demonstrated that the vaccine has an efficacy rate of 94.1% in preventing COVID. December 18, the FDA authorizes the Moderna vaccine for emergency use. The first injections of its vaccine started on December 21. On December 23, Canada authorizes the vaccine. The EU, Israel, Switzerland and the UK all granted it emergency authorization. Moderna have a lifespan of 30 days with refrigeration, and 6 months at minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 20 degrees Celsius. In spring of 2021, vaccines by Moderna and Pfizer-BioNTech are expected to reach large-scale distribution in the spring. Next is we have the viral vector vaccines, which are vaccines that contain viruses engineered to carry COVID genes. Some of it enter cells and cause them to make viral proteins. Other viral vectors slowly replicate, carrying COVID proteins on their surface. The three leading vaccines that uses viral vector are Oxford AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson, and Gamalea vaccines. The University of Oxford partnered with the British-Swedish company AstraZeneca to develop and test a coronavirus vaccine known as AZD1222. 
a clinical trial revealed the vaccine was 62 to 90 percent effective, depending on the initial dosage. It requires two doses, four weeks apart. It is stable in a refrigerator for at least six months. Johnson & Johnson is testing a COVID vaccine known as AD26. Results from a clinical trial are expected in January. Unlike other leading vaccines in clinical trials, the company gave one dose, not two. Its lifespan is up to two years frozen at minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 20 degrees Celsius. The Gamaleya Research Institute, part of Russia's Ministry of Health, developed a COVID vaccine known as Sputnik V. Gamaleya announced in December that the vaccine had an efficacy of 91.4%. Russia is using it in a mass vaccination campaign, and it is now being distributed in Argentina, Belarus and other countries. Another kind of vaccine is a protein-based vaccines which are vaccines that contain COVID proteins but no genetic material. Some vaccines contain whole proteins, and some contain fragments of them. Some pack many of these molecules on nanoparticles. The Maryland-based company Novavax has developed a protein-based COVID vaccine called NVX-CoV-2373. The vaccine produced strikingly high levels of antibodies in early clinical trials. September, the vaccine entered a Phase 3 clinical trial in the United Kingdom, and another one in the United States at the end of December. Those trials will show whether the vaccine is safe and effective. Last but not the least, the inactivated or attenuated COVID vaccines are vaccines created from weakened COVID-19 that have been killed with chemicals. Sinopharm, Sinovac, and Bharat Biotech's vaccine are the following. In early 2020, the Beijing Institute of Biological Products created an inactivated COVID vaccine called BBIBP Core. It was later put into clinical trials by the state-owned Chinese company Sinopharm. China approved the vaccine on Thursday, and the vaccine is also in use in Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates. The private Chinese company Sinovac developed a COVID vaccine called CoronaVac. Researchers in Brazil announced that it has an overall efficacy of just over 50%, the minimum threshold set by many regulatory agencies for authorizing a COVID vaccine. CoronaVac is being rolled out in a number of countries. Indonesia gave CoronaVac emergency authorization on January 11, and two days later the president of Indonesia received an injection of CoronaVac on live television. The Indian company Bharat Biotech partnered with the National Institute of Virology and the Indian Council of Medical Research to develop an inactivated COVID called Covaxin. India authorized the vaccine for emergency use on January 3, despite a lack of published Phase 3 data showing the vaccine is safe and effective. That's it for this video, please consider subscribing to Open Book, stay 6 feet away, always wash your hands, and I will see you again in the next video.